Next up on the, the timeline, we have Archive Project. So let's click on Archive Project, and this is going to do a couple of different things for us. It will archive any nested project files with Trim. It'll also save nested projects in subfolders if we wish for it to. Now, what a nested project is, is when you've got a Vegas timeline that is inserted into another timeline. In other words, we can drop veg files into a timeline just as though it was a piece of media. If you've been working with Vegas 8, you already know how this works. One of the places this is most important is if you're using any pre-built lower thirds or maybe you've got some kind of a graphic overlay that's going on that's specific to your corporation or your broadcast department. Those probably are stored in as nested veg files like the lower thirds that we're working with in this particular project. Well, Vegas can't archive those on its own, but by using Production Assistant, it does go out and it grabs that nested veg file and it stores it along with all of the project media. And if you want, that nested veg file can be stored off in a subfolder so that you know where the nested veg files are going to go. So this is a great way to save your project off and it might be that you need to archive it to be put on a shelf or you're putting it on a, a DVD as, as archivable media or removable media or maybe you're taking an entire season of, of episodics and you want to store off or archive that entire season of episodics onto a separate hard drive. This is a great way to gather all of that content and keep it in neatly labeled folders. So we'll tell it where we want the archive folder to go, just simply by going down here and choosing where our location is going to be. In this case, let's store this off on to this particular hard drive, make a new folder, and we're going to call this production archive. Choose OK. And we're going to tell it that we want it to archive nested files trimmed up, and we want to do the same thing with nested projects and subfolders. Choose OK. And yes, we'll save this particular one. Now it's archived everything off and it's going out and grabbing all of the different files from different locations and it's storing those into a single folder with subfolders made for any nested veg files that we might have. If your media is on a network or somewhere on the LAN or maybe it's stored off on DVD or XDCAM disk or anywhere else other than the local computer, this might take a few minutes because it's got to go gather all those assets and, and bring them in over the network cable, over the firewire line or however they're coming into your system. So be patient if you've got a fairly complex project that's got lots of different file locations. Once you're done, everything will then be located in one master place.